Uh, okay, uh, Mount Dodge Soul Comics, uh, Arbitrary News of the Week. Oh, hello. We should start oh. with this then and not the other thing. Um, oh, that is so, okay. uh, for many, many years, people have been trying to reboot The Crow, um, oh. which just came out on 4K, the original. Mm. And uh, we that... watched it two cat weekends butt. ago. Yeah, cat, cat butt. butt. Uh, we, watched, we watched it two weekends ago. And yes. uh, it looked pretty good. It wasn't like Aliens 4K good. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. obviously some of this wonky CGI that they had to reuse because Brandon Lee died. Um, yeah. Still looks wonky. But uh, yeah, it's still still a pretty great movie. Um, mm -hmm. But now Bill Skarsgård is taking on the role of um, the Crow and Eric Draven. Mm -hmm. and, yes. And uh, the director released some early images uh don't yeah. have a trailer yet although i think it comes out this summer so uh, i'm not sure they want to release a trailer given <laughs> this it's is what hot. he posted that spill scars P bill Skarsgård will look like um yeah i'm not so what i'm hopeful <laughs> about this is this is pre-death not post-death look <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. Like, if he looks like this, I mean, even... He could uh, be going to a concert. Um, he could be going to a sacrifice. He could be going to uh, Grandma's house for Sunday roast. Okay, now you're getting carried away. Um, but not death. Please. So I think, I think I could, I don't know, I, people can let us know in the comments, but I think I kind of get what they're going for, even though I don't agree with it. Yeah. Um, so the soundtrack to the original Crow is very much tied to the time it was made and it's a great yeah. soundtrack like the music is a big part of it um, yep. I guess they're trying to fit um, oh no <laughs> sorry my wife was trying to get the cat to, uh, to leave and she has having none of it oh Shake the pill Putunk. bottle and uh, yeah, I love out. it. Yeah, put on the dunk. Um, so the music was very much a part of uh, in conjunction with that movie of its time. Yes. Um, so I f feel like was. they're trying to do the same thing with the current music trend now, of trying uh. to tie the crow, because before it was goth and grunge and in the the mid nineties, well early to mid nineties, and then. But now it's more of a Machine Gun Kelly Post Malone like vibe, I guess. Maybe they're trying to go for. Is that not what the kids listen to these days? I mean, I believe they still listen to it, but um, <laughs> I was going to say, like, if there's a 21 Pilot song in there, that's it. I'm out, man. There's I don't even like, know. What I, that, I don't even, I, I, is that a band? 21 Pilots? Don't even bother with yourself. It's okay. Just don't. Um, pretty worried. Uh, it's, I mean, not, I don't, I don't know. I, with, if, if that's what they're planning to do to try to update it with, you know, recent music mm -hmm. and use anything that, you know, I don't know, people kind of know i just don't see it being good unless they go you know way more of a he looks pretty pre-death there yeah without the eye makeup yeah uh, like i said maybe he's just going to a concert anyway um you know i don't know they could use i feel like they could use like you know ghost and like the band um Hey, hey, there's some what, this. <laughs> no, I'm saying like they could because they're I would say they're they're quite popular yeah. in like pop culture. Yeah. So there's a lot of like different ones, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't want hit I wouldn't want them to use Kiss, right? Mm -hmm. Like but it I don't know. I'm trying to think of like other makeup using bands uh that are, you know, still relevant and I guess popular. Yeah, you're not really going to get uh Nine Inch Nails and Hole to do uh No, right? Like, um... 
like that. Nobody wants Courtney Love around. <laughs> um, you know, there's just so many, there's just so many things. Um, or was her cover on the second one, City of Angels? It was Gold Dust? Oh, I don't know. Wasn't that was a hit? I don't know. I was making, I was making it up. But if I'm right, I'll take that as a win. Well, I was, yeah, it was a City of Angels soundtrack. Um, I feel like what a movie. The Crow soundtrack. Um, so you have the I'm Cure, trying to remember. Some yeah, Double Pilots, trying to remember. Rage Against the Machine, Helmet, Rollins Band, Pantera had a song on there, Violent Femmes. Sorry, Helmet had a song on there? Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, Medicine, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, Nine Inch Nails, Dead Souls. Like, it was very much of its time. Yes. So I don't... I don't know. Like, I, I think that's probably what they're trying to go for. I'm not sure that's the right way to go. Mm-hmm. But I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure people are stoked about this, and it, that clearly might affect box office. But if it's reviewed well, they might come back. I guess. I would say they might come back, but it's definitely... That's a tough... That's tough. Like, didn't... Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just the other that. kind of issue I could see in relating to comic books is uh, the original comic spiked, uh, has been spiking up and down um, okay. for a number of years based on based on the uh, possibility of it having a reboot mm -hmm. and it being a good reboot. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Word being good. Last recorded sale. Whoop. So in December, December last year, it sold in a nine point eight for seven thousand dollars. Big gap between a nine point eight and a nine point six. Uh, nine point six yeah. sold last month. Well, almost two months ago. Um, for fifteen hundred. Yeah, I wonder what the recent sale is. Uh, recent sale for Raw. <clears throat> Last month, there was two sold for 500 and 400. Um, I don't know. You might want to get out before the movie comes out, just in case, if you're doing a spec on it, to try Very and well flip could it. Be. Um, but if you're looking to buy The Grow, and it's one of your favorite books, uh, it might be coming down in price. So maybe wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Okay, uh, Ouch. moving on. Um, Scout Comics uh, is in some trouble. Uh, so they have a couple of books I read, although off the top of my head I can't think of any. Um, mm. uh, so this is by Popverse. It was published uh, just this past week. Uh, something is going on at Scout Comics. Freelance creators who have worked for the company best known for comic books publishing have been speaking out over the past few days about severe delays in getting paid and in some cases delays in even getting a response from people within the company scout comics which is based in south florida under its full name scout comics entertainment holdings has responded to these concerns by admitting miscommunication missteps and that they dropped the ball but is already trying to douse public interest in this ongoing <laughs> issue uh, what's going on in Scout Comics? The first clue that something was amiss at Scout Comics came from Jared Lusion, the writer of All the Devils Are Here, Comic One Shot, which raised over 8000 on Kickstarter in 2021. Wow. And was subsequently published by Scout in April 2023. Uh, on social media, Lusion stated that the publisher has withheld money for over a year and won't answer emails. I spoke to the editorial director and he implied that we'd be blacklisted for complaining. Uh, Lusion wrote on February 28th referring to Scout's Andrea Lorenzo Molinari, who also writes mm -hmm. comics for the publisher. Uh, the CEO uh -oh. came in acting like he'd help, and now he's ghosting us too. It's a, if, if it's like that at the top, you know why everything else sucks. Uh, Scout Comics Entertainment Holding CEO Brendan Deneen, a prolific writer of comics, prose, and screenplays, who at the same time has served as an executive for various companies, including Dimension, the Weinstein Company, Scott Rudin, and Macmillan. <laughs> he broke into the entertainment, uh, into entertainment as an agent for William Morris. Uh, Popverse reached out to Deneen and got this response. 
Uh, quote, we are talking to Jared and currently reaching an amicable solution. Nadine tells Poppers, any creators with questions or concerns are always free to reach out to me directly and we will work with them to rectify any outstanding issues. Uh, according to Lejeune, the All the Doubles Are Here was profitable in the, in the single statement about the book sales he had received, but he hasn't received any money or any further statements in some time. That led to Lejeune asking Scott uh, Scout in January 2024 that they cancel their publishing contract in order to move past the money that is owed but not receive a response. Other creators speak out about Scout Comics. Lusion's public statements about his issues with Scout Comics and entertainment led to other creators in a similar situation speaking out. Matthew Ehrman, co-creator of the Scout Comics hit series Along Lost with Lisa Sterl, states, It is no longer a Scout Comics title as of today after we mutually agreed to part ways and terminate the publishing contract. Uh, Along Lost was published in 2017 and its success prompted a sequel in 2018. Uh, artist Christian Dabari tweeted that he and his collaborators aborted plans for a two-creator-owned series at Scout, uh, Tales Told in Techna Horror and Provenance of Secrets, due to similar issues. The first issues of both were published in 2021 by Scout, with plans for both originally announced and planned to have future issues. Uh, over two years ago, myself and co-creators on a few titles we did went through this with them too. Uh, we were met with bullshit threats, <laughs> lies, and now <laughs> currently paying off money owed. They're the biggest scam going in terms of a publisher. Uh, Dabari didn't specify what threats were from Scout Comics, but if true, they would be similar to threats of blacklisting. Lujan alleged Scout Comics editorial director Andrea Lorenzo Molinari implied after voicing concerns about payments. Uh, Scout refused to cancel contracts and willingly sat on stock, refusing to sell it even if and even removed it from their store. Uh, so bizarre. None of them know what they're doing. Uh, Tejan goes on to allege that Scout Comics offered to terminate their publishing contract only if creators paid the publisher 75 grand to cover costs of a huge overprint we didn't ask for. Uh, Wells Thompson, the writer of the April 2023 Scout Comics one-shot Megaton, Megaton, sorry, uh, says mm -hmm. the publisher representative told him that the comic hadn't been profitable for the company and they stopped responding to his attempts to reach out Five months ago, we got a sales report explaining the that the book hasn't made its money back, but also haven't gotten any real communication since September. Honestly, glad to know it's not just us. Concerns about Scout can be tracked back to four years ago as a writer behind the well-received Scout comics title Grit also stepped up to say issues with the company led to them to truncate the series and disassociate with the company. Mm. Uh, yeah, so there's a problem going on. Uh guess after all these creators came out on the evening of February 29th, uh, Scout issued a statement. While Scout has always strived to maintain a high level of service to our teams, recently a creative team, ex it was more than one creative team, uh, expressed their frustration publicly due to not having a had a response to their concerns in several months. This is true. Oh, wow. Uh, reads the letter. We dropped the ball by failing to respond in a time of banner. We take full responsibility. Wow. Money. Wow. Um, mm, We'll continue to strive to do better and improve communication with all our creators. And says that very few creators have contacted them with concerns and attempts to contact by saying unnamed other creators have reached out in support. <laughs> so they, so other creators are in support, but they don't want to know. No, they don't want their name out there of saying we support mm, no. Scout Comics. Um, Classic. Yeah. Uh, what? I feel like they. I feel like there's some sort of bunny title I was reading from them, and now I forget what it is. Or the hobo. Um, hold on. <laughs> White I'm, Ash, I'm... Lord Flare, Phantom Killer. I don't know any of these. Um, this website's yeah, unfortunately, not great I either. Don't. Scout titles. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I started reading Behemoth. That was okay, but I gave up on it. Uh, okay. Cancelled was bad. Um, if anyone could recommend some Scout comics, yeah, uh, let us know. Oh, uh, I'm reading. Nope, I gave up on Dust. Okay, what's uh, junky? Eternus oh, e junky is uh, okay. from. Um, oh, what's the actress name from um, Planet of the Apes? And uh, Gollum, Andy Circus. Uh, Andy. Uh, oh, Gods of Brutality. That was good. 
enjoy mm, that okay. one. Okay. Uh, Inch curls. Okay. Coachella, Jeez. that was okay. Well, they do put out a lot of titles. Yeah, wow. And Night Sky. Hmm. We're just Ninja in the Nuns and M's. It's and crazy. Ninja Scouts. <laughs> um, Pentagram of Horror, that was all right. Mm. I'm not seeing a lot of like... I don't know, maybe I'm just out of the loop, but I'm not seeing a lot of popular titles here. Mm -hmm. Which could explain their problem with paying people. <laughs> Swamp Dogs, no. In Season, no, I don't know. Oh, uh, Wretches, maybe? That sounds kind of familiar. Or West Moon? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, some people let us know what some good titles are, but... Uh... That was really standing out to me. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and finally, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will return to the screen in Mutant Mayhem 2. Did you watch the first one? <clears throat> Excuse me. That Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie may be my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie ever made. More than one. Like the very first one. Really, I loved it. I it was it was, it was amazing. It was, good. it was pretty good. I thought it was unreal. I thought it was so. I like. I was. I, I don't know. I guess I maybe went in with low expectations, yeah. but pff, I thought it was top notch. I thought it was great. Yeah. Well. Okay. So. Um. Uh. We both. <laughs> Uh, the co-founder and I both enjoy it quite, quite a lot. Um, so, but now we've got a sequel coming. Um, Heroes in the Half Shell return to the big screen for a new animated adventure in 2026. Paramount Pictures' recent animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Mutant Mayhem, wasn't exactly a massive box office hit, but it did well enough to warrant a follow-up. The studio has now released, has announced a release date for the planned sequel. Unveiled as part of the studio's updated slate, Mutant Mayhem 2 is set to hit theaters October 9th, 2026. Oh, it's still like two and a half years away. Yeah, that's yeah. We got time, guys. I feel like I feel like movies are getting to the point where video games are, where they announce movies four years in advance. <laughs> uh, yeah, like video, I mean, like, I would... how long ago do they announce? Uh, what was Starfield first announced? Like six years before. Uh, Witcher. The same Witcher thing. 4, Cyberpunk, same, same thing. thing. Like yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, plot deals. Plot details are still under wraps. But Ro has already confirmed that the Shredder will make his presence felt in the movie after a brief appearance at the end of the last movie. Mm -hmm. uh, post credit scene, Cynthia <laughs> Utram, uh, Utram decides to call in Shredder services to help her take down the turtles. We get a quick glimpse of his signature purple cape, spiked armor, and spiked armor as he overlooks New York skyline. Um, yeah, excited about this. Uh, should be good. I like... Um, I think... Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, so yeah. Evan Goldberg, they really the team, get yeah. how to adapt comics and or yeah, <laughs> your bouncing face. Um, yeah, they definitely learned a lot. I think on the first season of Preacher, adapting that it was first mm -hmm. season of Preacher was a bit slow, but then I, you know they picked it up afterwards. Um, that was a great season a series, and then um, the boys they have a hand in producing. Yep. That's been great. Invincible, they have a hand in producing, and that's been great. Um, we both really liked, and well, Josh loved Mutant Mayhem. I really liked it. Um, so that's been great. Um, so yeah, they should. Um, I guess I'm kind of disappointed that they'll never ever get a shot at Marvel, or maybe they'll get a shot at DC. Maybe one of their um, more adult titles. Maybe they'll. You know what they could. You know what they actually could do. Oh my God! Now that I'm thinking about it, they would. Uh, they would. I, I think they would actually do a good booster gold. Yeah. Um, I mean, they the, preacher, with, the preacher uh, was DC okay. black label, but um, in yeah. the current DCU that James Gunn is creating, maybe they will get a shot at doing something like um, maybe booster gold or something more a bit irreverent, um, mm -hmm. a bit more edge to it. Although they might mm -hmm. 
be getting bored with it. Like Seth Rogen right now is involved <laughs> in a reality show about pottery. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> he might be slowing down a bit on his, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, okay. That's so true. that's been, uh, arbitrary news of the week and, uh, let us know any good scout comics titles. Thanks. Yes.